So, welcome again to Pagophilia, uh, the blog about nature and wildlife experiences. Um, I'm now in Longyearbyen. Uh, Longyearbyen is a small town in Svalbard, which is quite far north of uh, Norway. Uh, and um, it's an archipelago barely 1200 kilometers south of the North Pole, so very very far north. 78 degrees north at the moment. And um, yeah, yeah, it's the high Arctic. I want to show you something here, it's quite special. It's uh, what has become uh, one of the main tourist attractions in Longyearbyen in the last years. Uh, there's, uh, in Longyearbyen it's quite uh, common or quite popular to do this uh, dog sledding. And because I have all these dogs that uh, need to pull all this uh, sled around uh, over the snow, then they also need these dog yards for the dogs to be when they're not working. So the Eiders is also it's also a bird that likes to breed in colonies, and they are because of this they um, they nest really close to each other, and they put their eggs. It's, from anything from three to, to seven or eight eggs in, in one nest and they are really really keen on, on incubating these eggs and sometimes they're so eager that they actually go and steal eggs from, from the neighbor to, to get into their own nest and to and to do the get the clutch even bigger than, than they have themselves. I will show you now a little bit around in this uh, and in this colony and what you're gonna see is that a lot of lot of this uh, nest here is uh, already stolen, so already destroyed. And the reason for that is the fox that have actually learned. It used to be the the original fox that was here he, uh, knew that he couldn't come here because of the dogs. But then you had a little bit of a rabies outbreak in in Svalbard, and the the yeah, and a lot of foxes got shot because they wanted to. Uh, they thought that if they shoot all the foxes around the town, then the rabies would go away. So after that, uh, new foxes came, of course, and these foxes uh, have learned that, uh, yeah, the the dogs they are chained and they are in captivity. So, so they are no danger for the fox. And now, what what we see now every year, the fox takes more and more eggs from the eider ducks, and all this colony is is virtually being destroyed. So, so. This year is the worst I ever seen. It's uh, basically no chicks or no ducklings around uh, nests here, so it's a little bit sad. Uh, also, the glaucous gulls, a lot of glaucous gulls circling around, and they have also learned how to, yeah, how to take these uh, ducklings, and they're just sitting on the nest on the poles and and uh, the in the area around, and they follow closely what's happening in the colony. It's immediately when there is a egg that is or nest that is opened for some reason, maybe the fox is disturbing the other eiders and then it's really quickly down there to also steal some eggs or ducklings if, uh, if the eggs are hatched. So yeah, so it's a little, little bit sad really, this colony used to be a very popular tourist attraction, still is, but uh, probably not for many years because this colony will probably disappear due to predation and uh, yeah, from the fox and also the glaucous gull. It's nature, it was a kind of an artificial colony to begin with, so maybe it's uh, not the worst thing that it goes away, but it also shows that when people interfere too much with nature, trying to get rid of the rabies and so on, then of course the colony, uh, then other things are happening, so, so yeah, so people should uh, be nature, be nature. That's the easiest way, usually. Also another interesting with the, in the biology of this uh, eider ducks is that uh, there's a lot of the younger females and also the females that for some reason failed fails the breeding. So the eggs disappear, maybe they get stolen from the fox or from a seagull or yeah, for some reason uh, maybe the eggs doesn't really are fertile or then these females they they don't get any chicks so but anyway they they are they want to they want to help out the other ones that have chicks so the eiders they are doing this what we call uh, we call uh, the kindergartens so a lot of females and a lot of 
non-breeders, they help the, the females that have chicks and they help them to, to guard the, the chicks. So it's a very interesting behavior and you can see sometimes you see a lot of females and just a few chicks. So and the, the first chicks that hatch or the first eggs that hatch and the first chicks that uh, that uh, that are born, they are very very popular amongst these non-breeders. It's sometimes so popular that they actually get killed because the, all the females want to want to get close to it and protect it so much and actually this ducklings they they man, they can get killed that way because it's uh, yeah the other females is fighting so much to be closest to to the to the ducklings